What's up, Edge Traders? This is Adam Winnigan. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a very simple, easy to execute strategy for passing the FTMO challenge or passing any prop firm funding challenge. And the sad reality is I think most of you guys just don't understand numbers. This is actually, you can make this really simple. You can put the odds in your favor simply. You can really pass FTMO challenges left and right, which is kind of what we have in our group. I mean, it's almost like every day we have somebody passing an FTMO challenge. If you're not part of our group, then you can become one at www.blueedgefinancial.com. But let's go ahead and let's talk about this because I want to make sure you're getting this, okay? So a couple of things that I want to make sure that you understand, okay? The FTMO challenge, right? We're going to be talking about the 100K challenge where basically when you pass, you get funded 100K. Okay. The challenge to take the challenge is like around $600 or so US, maybe 630, something like that. But let's use 600 for round numbers, right? Now, I think one thing that people have to understand is that it's actually very, very, very unlikely that you're going to find any strategy that you're going to pass 100% of the time. So just get this idea that you know, you're going to find some holy grail strategy that's going to pass FTMO 100% of the time. Just like get that out of your head because that's, it's just not realistic. The criteria for passing, you know, you need to make 10% profit basically and have less than 10% max drawdown or less than 5% drawdown in a day, right? It's just for most strategies that are good, long-term robust strategies, it's just unlikely that every single time, 100% of the time, you're going to be able to pass. So just get that out of your head for now. The second thing is just take a look at the numbers, for example. So when you're hundred, when you're funded a uh, hundred thousand dollars, right? And let's just say that all you're able to do is to get 1% in a week of profit. Okay. That's $4,000 per month that you're going to be earning in profit simply by, you know, earning 1% per week, which, you know, is quite doable. It's a, it's a realistic goal. Even if all you did was 0.5% per week, let's just take a look at this. I mean, you're still making $2,000 per month. So when we look at this, even if we have to take this challenge, say two or three times, if we have to take it two times, right, we're out a total of 1200 bucks. Okay. The very first month we can be profitable, right? Or say you have to take it three times, right? Well, even if that's the case, okay, you're out $1,800 in challenge fees which in reality, you're going to get refunded this initial $600 once you pass one. So you're really only out like 1200 after three different tries in your very first month. Okay. Of doing 0.5% in a week, you make $2,000. Okay. So, you know, say it takes you three times to pass. You're really bad at this, which you have no excuse after watching this video, but you're out $1,200. Your very first month, you come and you do 0.5%. You make $2,000. You're already in the green. You're already profitable. So this can be a good profitable business for you. Okay. That's just the numbers, right? That's, that's just the mathematics of it. If we can pass, you know, even 50% of the time, that's good. If we can even pass, you know, like 30% of the time or 33% of the time, it's still going to totally make sense from just a totally numbers perspective aspect of looking at this, right? So let me show you something really quickly here. I'm going to show you something powerful in just a second here. Okay. So let me show you something powerful. So when looking at passing FTMO, right, we need to do 10% profit in a month and no more than 10% max drawdown or 5% drawdown in a day, right? If you, all you were to do is to use any strategy really, and you're able to use like a one to three risk to reward ratio, meaning that you risk, let's say 1% of the account in order to make 3% of the account. And all we need to do is we don't need to win 70%. We don't need to win something crazy like 50%. Let's just say that all we're able to do is win 30% of our trades. I want to show you how this can be an amazing edge for you and how many times you can actually pass the FTMO challenge and how you can turn this into a really profitable business. So again, all we're going to look for is a one to three risk to reward ratio, and we're going to win 30% of the time. Okay. If you're not familiar, uh, we have this indicator called the bank secret indicator. One of the things that you can do is you can set up mobile alerts for an alert. Uh, one strategy that we've tested a lot on is just this really simple divergence strategy. I'm not going to go in super in depth into this, but basically it'll send a push notification to your phone anytime divergence is alerted. We've seen you can get pretty close to around these numbers just by doing that. Okay. And that's why we have more people that have passed than pretty much anyone. If you're interested in trying this indicator that sends a push notification to your phone, you can try a seven day free trial at www.blueedgefinancial.com. You only pay for if you feel like it's worth it or otherwise you don't pay us anything. Okay. So anyways, this is the goal one to three risk to reward ratio. And let me just show you 
how this actually works, okay? We're gonna do that, and we're also gonna use something called asymmetric compounding. If you've never heard us talk about this, there's uh, other videos on our channel where we talk about asymmetric compounding, but basically the way that it works is this, okay? Remember, we're risking one in order to make three, okay? The way that it works is we're basically just trying to win two trades in a row. And when we do that, we're gonna have a huge asymmetric gain on our account than we otherwise would. So the way that it works is we basically risk one to make three. If this is a winning trade, we're up 3%. On asymmetric compounding, the way that it works is basically we take our earnings, which is three, plus our original risk, which is one, so we risk a total of four, in order to make 12. And if we win this, then okay, we win 12% and we're up a total of 15%, okay? Again, I'm not gonna go super in depth in this. We have other videos on our channel, but that's the gist of it, okay? And the cool part about it is the downfall is not that bad. So let's say that, again, we risk one in order to make three and we make 3%. Well, okay, the next trade, we're gonna risk four to make 12%. And let's say we lose this trade. Well, if we lose this trade, then that's fine. We're just negative one overall, okay? So it's not that bad. We're just down 1%, okay? So this is the idea, again, if you need refresher on asymmetric compounding, there's other videos on our channel. Now, let me show you how powerful this is, okay? Okay, so here we are in the Monte Carlo simulator and we're basically going to be randomizing all of these trades with, again, a one to three risk to reward ratio using asymmetric compounding. We're gonna see how many times we can pass the challenge and I'm gonna do like maybe 20 of these so that way you can see out of 20 how many times you would have actually passed and whether this can be actually a profitable business for you or not doing trading with FTMO and you know, just having a, a very slight edge like we do here. So let's go ahead and let's see this. So basically what we're gonna be looking for is we're gonna look at the balance and we're gonna look at does the balance hit $90,000 first, meaning that we would fail the challenge because we did the 10% drawdown or does it hit $110,000 first, meaning that we pass the challenge, okay? So that's basically all that we're going to look for over here. Now you can see that it still hasn't passed. It still hasn't passed. It hasn't gone to 90,000 and it also hasn't gone to 110,000, but you can see right Right here, it went above 110,000. So this would have actually been a pass. So I'm just gonna log all these and we're gonna do a few together so you get this and see uh, how powerful this is. But basically that's a win. And every time I click enter, it's going to rerun the script. You can see it up here. It's gonna re-randomize all of these variables again and it's gonna spit out a different number. Do we pass or do we fail the challenge? So we can see here again, we see that it hasn't hit 89,000, almost passed. Actually, we have to wait for the script to run. So during these parts, I'll fast forward the video so that you guys don't have to just watch this thing set. Okay, so there we go. It's randomized the variables again. And then you can see we went on this losing streak when like five, lost five trades in a row. And then we just won two in a row. And then boom, we passed. We cleared the $110,000. So our second one would have also passed the FTMO challenge. So we're going to mark that up as a W. And I'm going to just continue doing this. All right. Okay, and so here we have our first loss. You can see that we're trading, 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 didn't get to $110,000, but then boom, it went all the way down to $89,000. So this is an, actually an example of a losing challenge. So we would have actually lost this one. We'd mark it up as an L and that's how it works. So you guys get the idea. You can do these simulations on your own. Just find them on a Carlo simulator or you can make one yourself or you can get it inside of the Edge Trade Academy if you are a member of Blue Edge Financial. But I'm gonna basically just speed up the video here and I'll meet you back after we've done actually 20 different passes so you can see what your pass rate would be for the FTMO challenges. Okay, so this is taking a lot longer than expected, but just to give you an update here, we're past the very first 10 that we've done the Monte Carlo simulation through, and you can see we've won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've done seven for 10, which is 70% of the challenges we would have taken in this simulation would have actually passed, which is amazing. I'm gonna to continue to do 10 more because I promise you that I would, and then we'll check back in with the results after that. Okay, so there you have it. We just got done doing the 20 different Monte Carlo simulations and out of the 20 simulations that we did, 12 were actually wins, eight were losses. So we actually have a 60% pass rate, which is actually pretty good. It's pretty normal for what I've seen. I've seen a little bit higher before, but around 60% usually is kind of what we check in at. Okay, so 60% of the time you're gonna pass. So let's just break this down just for example. Let's say that it costs you $600 per trial and then $600 
$200 times 0.4 plus an extra $240. So if you only pass 60% of the time. So on average, let's say that it costs you $840 to pass an FTMO challenge. Okay. Well, it costs you $840. And you know that if you can just make even 1% in that very first month after you're funded, then you're going to be more than break even. It's going to be profitable. If you can do, you know, 1% per week, you're very, very profitable. And this just goes to show you that you don't need to have some crazy, crazy edge in order to make this work. And that's the reason why we have so many people that have passed using certain strategies just like this that we teach in the Edge Trading Academy. And then they'll use our expert advisor, the Titan X expert advisor after they're funded to continue to trade on a conservative level and make half a percent or 1%. Obviously results may vary. Obviously everything in Forex is risky. And obviously I'm not guaranteeing you results by any means. This is how we've been able to help a ton of people pass the FTMO challenge doing this. If this video was helpful, then go ahead and click like and subscribe. And also take a look at some of the other videos on our channel to help make passing the FTMO challenge, help make your trading elf easy, lucrative, and fun.